So I don't know about you guys, but I think I know the GTA 5 map pretty well. Like, almost probably better than, like, the roads around where I live, which might be a little bit sad. But I have, like, the worst sense of direction ever. But somehow with GTA 5, I seem to know, like, roughly where I am at all times. You guys probably have that same thing where you're like, all right, I know I'm going down this road. And I know this landmark is going to be right here. And this shopping center or this store that I can go in will be right there if I make that turn. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with the map. Well, this one guy ended up creating the GTA 5 map in real life. And it looks amazing. Oh, and it only took him over 400 hours to do so. So I'll be telling you guys about this story today. So I actually saw this. I don't know who retweeted it, but it showed up on my Twitter feed the other day. And it was this guy, Dom Rickabin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. If not, I do so apologize. I will leave a link to his pages in the description. He ended up creating a full 3D real life map of GTA 5 and San Andreas. And seeing this whole thing recreated perfectly using 3D printing is wild. And it will really make you appreciate just how much detail and work Rockstar packed into this digital world. Not to mention how impressive this 3D map is in both its accuracy and its scale. So let's actually take a look at it right now. How cool is this? You can see him putting the entire thing together, and it just looks absolutely magnificent. And since he actually made this on Friday, it has gone viral. A little bit about Dom. He's a product designer who often uses real-world data to recreate actual locations as exact data sculptures. But due to the pandemic, he wasn't able to go out and do his job. So he needed something to do to occupy his time, and he looked to the virtual worlds of Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2 for inspiration. And Zach Zwiezen of Kotaku actually did a little bit of an interview with him, and we got to find out more about how he was able to create this, which was very cool. So his plan was to create high-resolution data sets of both RDR2 and GTA V, and then he would use that data to create huge, perfectly scaled, 3D physical maps of the game worlds. He described this process as an immense technical challenge. To quote, he said, To start, I used a custom script to scan the terrain and buildings in Red Dead Redemption 2 first. Then I managed to port it for use in GTA 5. It runs in game and collects ground elevations in a 500 to 1000 meter radius around the player when you press a hotkey, adding up to 1 million plus data points per scan. However, because the game doesn't spawn in the entire map at once, Dom had to scan the map by hand slowly using this process. And he estimates that it took him around 100 hours for each game before he had enough data for his data sculptures. He goes on to say the next challenge was merging the point clouds and turning the data set into real world data so I could manipulate, process, and analyze it with professional mapping and cartography software. So in order to do this, he mapped all 500 million coordinates that he scanned and collected actual coordinates on the Earth, and this allowed him to create an elevation grid. And with that, he could use his software and some tools to begin printing the map. But that was tricky as well because some tiles would only take an hour to print, though more complex areas featuring many buildings and elevation changes could take up to 12 hours to print. So holy smokes, you can just see how big of a process this was. And he has shared a lot of his progress as well on Instagram and social media. Again, I will leave links to all of that in the description. He says, I used a proprietary workflow to turn the tile data sets into polygons as 3D printable meshes. Each tile is a 800 megabyte 3D model. From there, it was a matter of trial and error, dialing in my 3D printing settings to print buildings, terrains, and the water features in black all at once. They also needed to fit together seamlessly as an assembly. So all told, it took about 125 hours or so to print out the 3D GTA 5 map seen in his tweet. And he estimates that the full project, including printing, getting data, building the elevation maps, and fine tuning took over 400 hours spread across a year. And he said that it was a lot of work and time, but is thrilled with the results 
and had a blast doing it. And it was probably the most enjoyable and technically challenging project he's ever worked on. And he already says his next plan is to do the same process for the RDR2 map, and he has already spent over 200 hours working on that and hopes to create a similarly impressive map using that Rockstar game in the near future. Now, what's really cool is Rockstar Games also found this to be very impressive as they actually retweeted the entire tweet on their main Twitter account. How cool is that? They also shared it on Instagram. They also shared it on their Facebook page as well. So Dom is getting the recognition he deserves. It's also one of the reasons why I'm talking about it in this video, not only because it's incredibly cool, but also this guy is like an incredible artist. It'd be so cool to see him do this for Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 4, Grand Theft Auto 3, San Andreas, etc. And then of course when GTA 6 comes out, we'd obviously love to see that recreated as well. So it's just awesome to see this done. And there's so much behind the scenes stuff that you guys definitely need to check out on his Instagram page as well. Like how the 3D printer stuff is working and how it shows him filming the entire process. It's just really, really amazing to see. So I totally recommend that you guys check this out. I will leave links to, of course, all of that in the description. I don't know about you guys, but this is like a true work of art that I think would look amazing, like framed up for a game room or just in general. I mean, they look absolutely beautiful. So I really do think that Mr. Dom has got something going here. This would be incredible. Like to have something like this in my gaming office wall would just be awesome. So I'm actually super jealous right now. I wish that I could do something like this for myself. I am in no way, shape, or form even remotely talented enough to try something like this. But Dom is, and that is just absolutely amazing. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think about this amazing recreation of the Grand Theft Auto V map in real life that took over 400 hours to do? That to me is just incredibly impressive. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there, or better yet, you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send photos, messages, videos, and more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.